Okay, uh, let us start the new class. And in the last class, we started talking types of drama. We have already discussed the elements of the functions of a drama as well. So, very first, we have uh, told that or mentioned that comedy is one kind of drama, then tragedy, force and melodrama. What is the force? We have already mentioned that the force is a nonsensical genre of drama which often over acts or engages slavistic human. I mean who, those people who are sleeping, who has no awareness, uh, who uh, cannot see the world from the realistic uh, point of view, uh, those uh, people's activities are uh, highlighted in force, okay? And melodrama. Melodrama is an what? Exaggerated drama which is essential and appeals directly to the sense of the audience. Just like the first, the characters are of a, a single dimension or simple or maybe the stereotype. Then uh, we have already mentioned the another types of drama that is called of what? Musical drama okay in musical dramas most of the times you have seen that of what dramatists not only tell their stories through the acting or dialogue at the same time it also gives of what it gives some music as well then we have uh, mentioned what characters and uh, what uh, how many types of characters are used in uh, drama as well <laughs> Uh, basically, we have seen that there are a number of uh, dramas. One is protagonist, who is the protagonist, uh, who is the main character or the uh, to whom uh, the story is centered is called a what? Protagonist. And obviously, through the protagonist, the writer tries to give the message and uh, he is a good character as well. Okay? On the other hand, there is another uh, character we have seen that that is of what? Antagonist. Antagonist means of what the character that stands as or rival to the protagonist is called the antagonist. He is the villain. He can also uh, considered as the main character, but uh, he as he is not a good one, as he is not an honest one. That's why he is not considered as a what uh, protagonist. He is considered as an antagonist. Only for the basis of what? Basis of their activities is okay, not the other things. At the same time, we have seen that another um, character that is a what? Foil. That is a character whose trait whose traits contrast with those of the another character. Write it, use foil to emphasize difference between the characters. For example, a handsome but key dull character might be a foil for one who is unattractive but dynamic. So it is another important. For what reason we have already mentioned that who is the protagonist, who is a villain to compare and contrast with these characters, these such a things is also needed. He can be or she can be uh, attract as uh, sorry, what type of uh, they can be handsome or something beautiful as well, but they are not the attractive in which way here attractive means it depends on, uh, on your behavior, your activities and your performance on the other or dealing with the other. Okay? It doesn't mean that appearance of your physical condition it doesn't mention that okay and another type of characters we have seen that that is of what hmm? confident that's of what they are socially or um, we can say that their dignity is not so much high but they are very close to the protagonist they are very much to protagonist to enter train of the protagonist at the same time we have already mentioned that this type of character sometimes confused confused or divert the, the mind of the protagonist, but they have no, they have no bad intention. Why they are doing that? Because they cannot distinguish what is good, what is bad. They always try to make of what make their boss or their superior entertain, giving some information. That's why they cannot understand what they are giving to their superior whether these are usable or unusable or they will destroy they will destroy his superiors activities or not they are not thinking that things as well 
Next, another what? Uh, stock characters. We have already mentioned it today. We are going to start from this uh, uh, here. Dialogue. The dialogue is a word. The word uttered by characters in a play forms of a dialogue. The dialogue reveals the plot and characters of the play. Words is spoken must be sustainable to the situation and the role of the character. We have already mentioned that the, uh, whenever we discuss the dif uh, differences between novel, short stories, uh, poetry and drama. In drama, dialogue is a mandatory, is a must. Okay, I mean the, the characters, the character directly speak there, they use, deliver their own words. But whereas in novel, we have seen that a narrator, what, delivers the okay, words of, words of, how, in favor of the characters or something else. At the same time, what it mentions that the dialogue reveals the plot and the characters of the play. In novel, we have seen that everything is narrated, everything is described in detail. But in drama, except dialogue, you cannot get anything else. So, through the dialogue, you can understand, you can define a part, you can define the characters as well as the plot and the theme of the, or the message of the drama. Okay. Things that are said on stage may take an on, gather oath or typical qualities than the same thing said in everyday speech. Good dramatic speech involves a proper construction of a word spoken in the appropriate context. It also involves saying what is not what hmm, uninviting or what is obvious straight away. So it is also involves saying what is not uninviting. What does it mean that? Or what is obvious straight away? It means of what? It indicates through the dialogue. Dialogue indicates everything. What is suitable here? What is not suitable? What is should be applied here? What should not be applied? Everything you will get what? Through the dialogue. But in novel, you will get everything and detailed description uh, which is uh, which comes throughout of what? The narration of the narrators. Okay. But uh, this is the basic difference between these two. Then another one, one is important that is of what soliloge. Uh, you must remember that uh, most of the tragedies we have seen at soliloge and you are familiar with these also. <coughs> soliloge. A character that is typically alone on the stage delivers a long speech which is called a soliloge. Emotions and innermost thoughts of the characters are revealed in a soliloge. Most, uh, mostly it's a very important. It, whenever after completion of Macbeth, whenever we we'll start uh, Dr. Foster's, at the very beginning we will get long soliloquy. Even Hamlet, in Hamlet we have seen that seven soliloquies, okay? And one of the soliloquies is very remarkable, where he mentioned that to be or not to be, that is a question. I mean, his dilemma is coming there. Similarly, we will get number of soliloquies in Macbeth as well. So what is soliloquy? Whenever the character, the protagonist or someone else, he is where? He is in the he is in the stage alone. And he speaks himself in his inner mind or the speaks such a way that what the audience can understand. Or what reason the soliloquy is important? To express his what? Thoughts, his emotion, his feelings. And his inner tormentation is what external hmm? thing. Everything comes to the soliloquy. That's why soliloquy plays a vital role in drama. Got my point? Anyone any question from here? Is there any confusion? No. Most of the times, so what's happened? Whenever you are in uh, alone, you are alone. You are trying to speak yourself. You are trying thinking something else. It means of what? If anyone knows it, they can understand how much his sufferings you have and or how much happiness you have. Otherwise, it is not possible. Because what we are seeing, we, are, we, we, we see only your external condition, but we cannot see your internal condition. Solologe expresses your internal condition. Got my point? That's why it is important. <coughs>
then uh, plot what is plot you know that according to Aristotle we know that plot means support arrangement of the incidence arrangement of the incidence for example to express a building to express a building or uh, to uh, watch um, uh, suppose uh, you, whenever you intend to build up the building you uh, have to collect or gather brick then what sand cement water iron etc etc these are the elements these are the components these are the incidents of the drama and whenever you think that in which way you have to compile them you have to use them one after another and after compilation of them you will see that there is a building so way of the arrangement where the compilation is called of what plot okay in a drama the number of incidents number of ideas but without mixing up them without compile them you cannot or arrange them you cannot say that it, that is a plot okay so that is the plot the plot is even that occurred in a story sequentially normally the introduction of the characters in the beginning of the play gives the audience an idea about what the plot may be the information will enlighten the audience as to why characters behave the way they do and an incident may be expected to surprise that will create a problem for the main characters so an action heightens the characters counter the problem and find themselves in trouble the conflict in a plot may vary but nevertheless it forms a basis for the plot the conflict leads the characters from one incident to another unfolding the plot and increasing the suspense and excitement of the reader or viewer how we can explain this sometimes we are we see on our walking or on our uh, on the way of our destination what's happen without any kinds of obstacle without kinds of any barrier we can easily go there but sometimes you have seen that number of what <coughs> obstacles are there so you are becoming confused what is the obstacle is also another kinds of what elements so how you can overcome this the instruction is also get where it also you will get it in plot because it's an what arrangement the arrangement the way of the uh, or the process will tell you in which way you can achieve your target okay and another thing is that without having some counter um, attack or counter part sometimes you cannot get the what happiness of the incidents you cannot get you cannot enjoy it whenever you walking 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 for example in a uh, cricket match or a football match whenever you see that the opponent is very much weaker than you what's happen after being uh, what own up or the whenever you become a victorious you cannot get what happy at all because of what there is no pleasure there is no enjoyment whenever two rivals are really what strong equally and if you beat them you get pleasure okay so that's why in the plot sometimes we will see that a word counter part as well that's why in a very first class may i i may have uh, shown you a slide that is uh, on our uh, um, way sometimes we need some push sometimes we need some push it is uh, also the push as well okay then of what uh, okay setting the setting and time in a play tells us there what story happened and the time is occurred um, in introduction to literature poetry i mentioned that setting is a compilation of three things it is a word there time action and place time action and place obviously here the definition is also telling them and um, in case of <coughs> drama it is actually uh, called the three unities unity of time unity of action unity of place okay unity of time means of what according to aristotle the incidents 
must be happened, must be occurred within a single revolution of the sun. I mean, within 24 hours, within a single day, everything must be happened. For example, we can say that riders to the sea, where we see that all the incidents happened from dawn to dusk. It started when the play opens. We have seen that it's a very early morning. When it ends, it is just after the sunset. I mean, support within 12 hours. Within 12 hours. Within 12 hours, we what we have seen that the incidents happens. Okay. <coughs> But sometimes you have seen that some dramas may not what happened within 24 hours. It takes more than 24 hours. Actually, Aristotle defines that everything must be happening 24 hours. But Shakespeare first time violates the rules. And after that we have seen that. The other dramatist says that no, it is not mandatory to follow the unity of time. Unity of time. I mean some what? Sometimes it takes more than one day or more years as well okay we'll see that in Macbeth number of days number of months it what takes to complete its time so uh, in setting you must have seen that the three things is important okay then stage direction I have already mentioned that stage direction also play plays vital role in drama and audience is promoted to react by the moments or positions of the actors in a play. It can build up the tension, <coughs> trigger laughter and shift the focus of the audience to a different part of the stage. In which way? Why it is important? You must know it. You must know it. For example, when we attend such a program, we have seen that there is a banner. <coughs> banner. The banner tells what happens, what is it waiting for, what type of program is there. And whenever you are seeing the lightning, lightning of the program or the hall room, you can understand what, whether it's a, uh, there is a music or not, or it's a what, something else. Okay? So, setting is important. At the same time, what? To achieve this purpose, the writer communicates to the actors, director, and the rest of the crew in the play by means of stage direction. Obviously, they have to follow it. And everyone got the instruction from there. From there. And, and you see that. Whenever the scenery is being uh, is changed, it means of what? You have got an information from there. You has got an information, you has got a piece of information for there. For what reason? Because you know. You know now what you should do. Because the previous direction and the present direction are not the same as well. Okay? He does this uh, by means of, he does this by means, do you have the class? Yes, sir. If you class, then you can come without interest. If sir, your application. Sir, that is a different case. I thought that you have come from the, yes, the sign. That is, not, that is not right. Okay. Uh, he does this by means of sort of okay, sort of phrase, phrases. Usually printed in italics or enclosed in parentheses or brackets. These directions describe the appearance and actions of the characters as well as the sets, customs, probes sound effect and lightning effects everything obviously in the, through the setting you will get this when the ghost will come the music will be the different when a villain comes the music will be the different the color will also be the different when thundering is coming you have seen that the stage direction the sound will be the different i mean support everything controls what the stage direction as you have read uh, Arms of the man, you have seen that there is a detailed stage direction is given there. And in Riders to the Sea, you have seen also another stage direction you have got where the where whiteboard is kept, where you have seen that the tarmar they are eh, preserved. Everything you have seen that the directions are given. Why? Because these directions will indicate also your socioeconomic condition as well, okay? The mentality, the attitude of your, uh, what? Of the character. For example, 
a friend visits your mess and you, he notices that it's a what your pants, shirts, and everything is what is scattered here and there and very much what dusty. Then his impression will be what bad. If he goes there, what's happened? It's a very much tidy and neat and clean. It says that oh, he is very much disciplined. So you have seen that the direction controls of what the attitude, the inner condition, and the behavior or the mental strength of the character as well. That's why it also it has also an important others. State direction may uh, also include the character's body language, facial expressions, and even the tone of voice. Comments or remarks about the surroundings and when a character enters or exists are also may made in stage direction. Thus, stage directions help us understand the feelings of the character and the mode of the story. That's why it is also important. Next theme, and you know that the word theme is actually. The theme actually tells what the play means. What the play means. I mean, of what the masses of the masses of the story, masses of the play is considered as a theme of the play. Rather, stating what happens in the story, the theme deals with the main idea within the story. Theme has been described as the soul of the drama. The theme can either be clearly stated. So dialogue or action or can be inferred from the entire performance. We shall conclude plot and theme in drama should complement each other and should be synchronized to give a complete output. You have seen that. The significance of it. And here the critic mentioned that what? Theme and plot is what inseparable things. They are complementary of each other. Why? We have already mentioned that plot is means of what the incidents of the sorry arrangement of the incidents arrangement of the components okay whereas plot means of the what the masses for example whenever the architect thinks that uh, desire to build out the building he has a plan so after completion of the building what's happened a masses you have got. Whether it be a corporate office or it will be an educational institution or something or hospital, etc. etc. What does it mean that? The message is of what? Theme here. So how you have got? Because of the arrangement of the components are mixed through the plot. That's why these are the two of what? Inseparable or the complementary of each other. Then these are actually uh, very uh, funny things. We're not going there. So anyone, any question from your previous lecture, please?